Hello, my name is Rian Blom with Avaya Global Support. In this video, I will demonstrate how to install the Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Software Only Server for release 6.3.1. The document to reference for more detail on performing this installation can be downloaded from the Avaya support site. Go to Downloads and Documents and search for Application Enablement Services Installation Documentation. Locate the document titled Implementing Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services in a Software Only Environment and download it. The release 6.3.1 document should be dated October 2013. The AE Services Release 6.3.1 software-only offer is intended for customers who prefer to use their own hardware to run AE services. Customers must procure a server that meets the recommended hardware requirements, as well as the appropriate version of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system. AE Services supports non-system platform virtualized environments, specifically VMware within the context of the AE Services software-only solution. The requirement is that the VMware slice meets the minimum server requirements described in the AE Services software-only offer. Note that you may also want to review the Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services release 6.3.1 on VMware offer prior to performing this installation. With this offer, AE Services comes prepackaged with Red Hat Enterprise Linux and can be deployed as a V-appliance on VMware ESXi 5.0 and 5.1 infrastructures. It is part of the overall virtualization enablement program bringing the Avaya Aura portfolio onto VMware. Please refer to the installation checklist in Chapter 1 of the Implementation Guide for AE Services as it includes detailed instructions to successfully complete this installation. AE Services Release 6.3.1 should be installed on a 32-bit Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5.8 server, paying attention to the following covered in Chapter 3 of the above-mentioned document. Create a VAR partition at 40% of the disk space, which should be at least 10 GB in size. In the Linux package group details, disable everything but base system. In the Firewall Configuration tool, ensure that SE Linux is disabled. Then the hostname must also be set, which you can check with the command uname space dash n. The AE Services software only ISO image for release 6.3.1 can be downloaded from the Avaya product licensing and delivery system website. In this demonstration, I will be covering specifically installing the AE Services software. On this slide, you can see where this fits into the documented installation steps. To perform the installation, I will use a secure shell client, in this case an application called PuTTY, to connect to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux server that has been provided by the customer. In the hostname field, type the IP address of the Linux server. The address shown here is only an example. Ensure that the port shown is 22 and that the SSH connection type is selected. Then click on Open. The customer will have to provide you access details to their Linux server and you will need to be at root level to perform the AE services installation. Once you've logged onto the Linux server, you will need to check a few items which is specified in the implementation document. Cat the etc hosts file to check if the AES host name shows. If not, then use the VI text editor to add the IP address and hostname of the server. Then, to save the file, press escape on the keyboard then press colon W Q and press enter on the keyboard. You can cut the etc hosts file again to ensure that your addition was saved. Next, change to the forward slash boot 
forward slash grub directory and use the vi text editor to edit the grub.conf file. Find the line starting with kernel and add a space and clock equals HPET at the end of that line. Then, to save the file, press escape on the keyboard and press the colon WQ and press enter on the keyboard. We also need to check SE Linux with the forward slash user forward slash sbin forward slash SE status command and ensure that the SE Linux status is showing as disabled. Check that the Linux hostname is set with the command uname space dash n. After these items have been checked, you are ready to proceed with installing the AE services software. From the location where the ISO has been saved, confirm that the entire file is there and also check the MD5 checksum. You need to compare this value with the value published on the Avaya support download site or in PLDS and ensure that they match. If they do not match, then download the ISO again until the MD5 sum matches. If the file is complete, then use the mount command from documentation to mount the ISO. I have specifically shown you here that the documented mount command assumes your server has a media CD-ROM directory, which out of the box mine didn't. So you can either change the mount point or you can create the mount point with the make directory command as shown. Then run the mount command again and it should pass. Once the ISO is mounted, then you can use the ls command to ensure that the contents of the ISO is available. We are going to run the install script from the mount point. To do that, type forward slash media forward slash cd-rom forward slash install and press enter on the keyboard. For reference, I'm running a stopwatch in the top right of this window and you can see that we're currently at just over seven minutes into this process. The first screen shown provide navigation instructions for the installation method. You need to choose the installation media. For this demonstration I'm performing the installation from a mounted ISO image and I will select the CD-ROM media and then select OK. On the next screen, we are asked to confirm the location of the RPMs. Some installs fail after this step if the default locations are not used. But as you can see, you can edit the path to where the releases directory is located. This is determined by the mount point that you created earlier. Next, confirm and select the release version that will be installed. On the co-residency warning, be aware that running applications co-resident with the AE services server is not a supported configuration. Select Yes. Then select to install. Accept defaults for the installation packages and select OK. On the optional packages page you can leave the Linux configuration package and the LDAP configuration package for AE services checked. And if you have an Avaya services agreement you will also need to select the CS-services package. Select OK. On the ready to proceed screen Select Yes and the installation starts. Take note of the time in the top right of the screen and you can see that the installation starts at around 9 minutes.
After roughly 14 minutes, the installation is complete. So the software installation takes around 5 minutes. Press enter on the keyboard and on the next screen confirm that you receive a message that the installation was successful. Note that you can review the installation log from the var disk logs directory. Press enter to close out the installation script. At this stage your AE services software only server is installed. Providing all the prerequisites have been completed successfully, your server is now ready for use. To check this you can open a browser window to https colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address of your server. Accept the security warning and then click on continue to log in. Then log in with cust and cust pw. You can read through the end user license agreement and then choose to accept. On the default password change notification page, please take note of the instruction to change the default passwords on the server. Acknowledge and then click on OK. This will take you to the welcome page for the AE Services Management Console. From here, you can check the hostname and IP address is correct and confirm the offer type and version. Your server is now ready to configure. This concludes the demonstration of installing a VIA Aura Application Enablement Services software only server. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.